Alrighty, we got a bow to glue up here, so got the form ready, got the glue mixed, everything's clean, so time to start gluing. So this is a 56 inch hybrid bow. We got a spalted beech and walnut a riser, and then spalted beech and walnut blend veneer spliced. So um, we got maple cores, clear glass, and stable core in the stack too. So get ready to get rocking on this. The hardest part of these spliced veneers is just keeping everything lined up with the veneers so they all line up on the bow. So I think I got it all marked how it needs to be. So let's just start rocking here and kind of check it out as we go. So the first part here is putting glue on everything. It don't. You don't have to really think about this. You just start doing it. Making sure I get everything covered. You don't need like a ton of glue because when you wet both surfaces, it you know builds up quite a bit. And under this force involved with the clamping of the the uh, the forces involved with the clamping of the uh, the the form, you know it. it pushes a lot of it out anyways so I've learned as I went I put a little bit like less and less and it's still really more than you need but it's one of those things where it's just like you know better to have too much than not enough I mean it's really not the end of the world to have some glue squeeze out that'd be much better than having a starved glue joint Yeah, that's really starting to pop. That's beautiful. So, make sure to get this spot covered right here. Check it out, make sure it's good. It looks good. Try to be careful with this. So, put this on here and we'll center it up. And I got some a mark to show me where I need to be, which side's which and all that. hard chunk get that out of there you can kind of see on the wood when the glue soaks into it it, it, it wets out because under the pressure of the of the form and, and everything and the heat the, the glue actually soaks through the all, all the way through these veneers for the most part which really helps you know strengthen everything and that's how you can get away with using really cool looking wood that's maybe not the best you know strongest grain or whatever because it's completely saturated and resin all the way through in this process that looks good so what i'm learning is this walnut has a lot of air trapped in it so I gotta glue the bow up 
put it in the form and everything and then let it sit let the glue harden up some and then and then heat it because uh what i found out from some info for some bowyer other bowyers and stuff is that any air trapped in the glue or in the wood can expand when it's heated in like the heat box and that can cause air to come out and uh make air bubbles into the glue which probably fine for strength but it just looks bad so they're just like very small air bubbles it just looks like foamy okay so we got the veneer on there the right direction so here's the core the first core center that up Chunk of dirt or something. Another chunk of dirt. Get those out of there. So being a little bit excessive with the glue, but it's just so much faster to do that that way instead of like kind of <laughs> kind of milking it out and just trying to squeeze every little drop. It's a lot better to just kind of kind of hammer it. Now this is a the stable core. It's just like a lamination you can put inside the lint. It's supposed to help keep it from twisting. So it's got some. It's like fiberglass or carbon weave in two directions. Because most fiberglass you use on the outside of the bow, like the clear glass, is just like unidirection, one direction. So all the fibers are just running lengthwise, kind of like, you know, wood grain would be or something. But this stuff has like, running both directions has stuff. So it kind of has like a side to side, you know, stability. Because it's actually got fibers pulling from all four, you know, from all directions. But this stuff's cool because it's so thin. You can see the glue like wet it out and it goes like right, it like goes through it almost. It's just very, very thin. 17,000 thick. So we'll stick that on the stack. Even this up. So just checking to make sure we're all kind of centered up with everything. Looks like we are for the most part. So on that goes. All right, so let's glue up the belly half of the limbs now.
glasses done. Put this veneer. Okay, flip that over. If that's what you would see. You'd be looking through the glass and seeing that. So from the opposite sides, I got my mark. So we're got that the right way. Make sure my core is the right direction. Put the, make sure the thick part's in the center because they're tapered. Back up. All right, that one's done. This side. that bad boy over on there got my mark so good that and then our last core now I'm, I'm almost done and I have plenty of glue so sometimes <laughs> towards the end I'll just start hammering it because it's just faster that and down there Now the riser.
like the glue to be a little heavy on the riser. There's just more going on there and it's just easier to have it a little heavy on the riser. And then we'll stick this. It's gonna be hard to do. I might need to grab me a piece of probably need to change my gloves soon. Let's see here. Um yeah, let's change gloves. We can also change camera angles too. This thing on here. Part's a little hard to, <laughs> to get to sit steady. All right, I think I got it to put even. fade outs. And then this is the upper limb. slide these That sit, grab this one. Trying to just get the everything in the right spot. That one's about right, but this one seems 
chip my other marks. I need to slide this veneer up. So I'm just moving this glass, trying to get this veneer to slide down. All right, start throwing some tape. clamp over there so I don't forget to clean it. That's centered as it's going to get. So now we got to get this lined up. Got some marks there. Those are lined up. Yep, those are good and those are good. About time to start taping these uh, these down. Ditch these gloves. Let's see here. Got me a piece of tape. Kind of take that in place for now. So basically I got the footed veneers. I'm trying to get them lined up each side because it slides around so much. I'm trying to make sure it stays lined up. That's what we're doing. This side. I need to move. Just start nailing tape to this bad boy so I guess we'll finish out this limb first another pair of gloves on. I don't want to get glue on my hands. Uh, I've heard it's not good for you, for your skin and stuff. It's just, I don't like to grab, keep handling all my tools with the soaked gloves, so I just keep changing them out here and there. But they won't get, we're pretty much past the messy part, so.
double check that we're still good, which we are. So. So let's move this clamp back out. And then we'll probably start working in from each side so we don't move the riser. My fiberglasses. Keep cutting my tape. All right, we're gonna trust that it's lined up. I can't keep messing with it now. It's too far along. So. Getting this wood to make this curve is kind of a challenge. That limb's taped. Now, the, the tape just holds this down kind of temporarily. So it's all right if there's a little bit of a gap in this. It'll close up with uh, the air pressure. All right, we're gonna run a few more tight moisturizers. this up with some plastic
keep all that glue from getting all over everything. Now, get the strips. Strips taking place. Um, I think I'm gonna do the the, the side to side clamps next. Instead of waiting, I think I'm gonna put them on now, so I can see better what I'm doing. This part takes a little bit, but you got to do it. Got to keep everything from moving. We need to just get actual nuts with a little wrench. It's on the list. I always say it's on the list. So I always have a big list of things I need to get. <laughs> but yeah, that just keeps it from moving side to side. They don't have to be that tight. But you just don't want it moving. So we got the two long ones in the center.
All right, air hose time. Uh, let me, wait, let's throw a couple, throw a couple blocks on there. A lot more air out of this, it keeps holding me up. Tighten up. Center up this air hose.
put me a couple blocks in there to make the air hose do certain things I want it to do. Now I think we're ready to rock. Start airing this thing up. Check everything. All right, should be good to go. Thanks for watching.